When people hear the word Hollywood, they usually think about one thing, the movies. But this hasn't always been the case. Originally, Hollywood was a small settlement in California. But in the early 20th century, many major movie studios moved here from New York. It was cheaper to make movies here. And the good weather made it a lot easier to film outside. At around the same time, Hollywood merged with the neighboring city of Los Angeles. Soon, Hollywood was the movie capital of the world. And thousands of people were moving to LA to seek fame and fortune. They've been coming here ever since. Los Angeles is in the US state of California and is situated between San Diego in the south and San Francisco in the north. Today, the major studios don't make as many movies here as they used to because it's too expensive. But LA is still a major center of arts and entertainment. The city has a population of almost four million people and experts estimate that one in six of these people works in a creative industry, such as film, television or digital media. Many actors, performing artists and television personalities have made Los Angeles their home. And the most successful live here, in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is a suburb in the north of the city just 10 minutes from the seashore in Santa Monica. Since the 1920s, the neighborhood has been home to the rich and famous. Celebrities have been moving in since the movie stars Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford built a mansion here in 1921. Today, the area is full of fabulous houses with open-air swimming pools and full-size tennis courts. It's a very wealthy area, and everywhere you look, there are high-speed cars and expensive shops. In the heart of Beverly Hills is Rodeo Drive. It's one of the most famous shopping streets on the planet, and one of the most expensive too. Many of the world's best-known luxury brands have shops here, and the street has become a popular destination for fashion-loving shoppers. For many people, this is the stereotype of Los Angeles. But there's much more to the city than expensive shops and designer labels. This is West Magnolia Boulevard, one of the main roads in Burbank, a suburb 12 miles north of downtown LA. Because it's close to Hollywood, many major entertainment companies have their headquarters here. But it's much more affordable so lots of people live here too. It's a fun and exciting area with great shops and plenty of interesting things to do and see. This is Woodland Hills. It's west of Burbank, near the Santa Monica mountain range. It's a very pretty area and because it's a bit further from the city, there's a lot more space. A lot of families live here and it has some great parks and recreation areas. Woodland Hills has a strong community spirit and people often get together to eat, relax and enjoy the good weather. Los Angeles is famous for Hollywood and the movies and there are plenty of parts of the city that live up to this glamorous reputation. But while many of us think of Tinseltown when we think of LA, the city has a lot more to offer.